So I've been playing Elixir strings for absolutely ages and I really like them. The reason why I transitioned over to Elixir strings in the beginning was because of the extended lifespan. I found that I had that really crispy, nice new string sound and feel for a really long time, which I didn't really have with any other string brand. But now other string companies are doing it and these strings, are very popular nowadays and a lot of people are using them so i thought i'd give them a try plus they are that little bit cheaper which is a kind of added benefit not much but still a little bit which is helpful so this is the diodario xt range this is the 10 to 46 for the electric guitar nickel plated steel extended life plus natural feel that sounds great awesome so i've had this set of strings on for about two days and i don't really like them that much but i'm gonna get into that later on in the video. For now, I kind of want to see what the difference is between these two strings. So I've got the 10 to 46 electric guitar strings by Elixir and I have gone for the OptiWeb. Now usually I do use the orange one, which is the NanoWeb coating. And apparently it says the NanoWeb coating, the orange colored one is supposed to have more of a brighter sound these have a more crispy natural sound which i actually didn't know i just went for the the blue and the orange ones always but again these have got that coating on them that makes them last a little bit longer i want to see if there is actually much of a difference in terms of tone between these two strings so to keep the test accurate i'm obviously going to play the same thing with both strings and i'm also going to keep the tone clean with just a little bit of overdrive on a little bit of reverb because it makes it sound nice on the foundation. I'm not going to add any compression. I'm not going to add any delay because I think that might distract from the clarity in the strings. So I'm going to shut up now. If you like the video so far and you're enjoying it, please go down and just hit the like button. That would really help. Let's get straight to the tone comparison. <laughs> Okay, right, so if I'm being nitty gritty, I can hear a tiny amount of difference when I listen back uh, to both, but it's not enough for me, and I can't imagine it being enough for anyone to be like, I'm gonna play Elixir because they sound way better than these. Personally, that's, I can't hear it. This brings me on to the thing that I noticed straight away when I first put these on the guitar, and that was the feel under the fingers. I just don't really like the feel of these strings in comparison to the Elixirs. I find Elixir strings to be way smoother and a lot silkier in terms of feel under the fingers. I found that these felt like they were really worn in and kind of made the fretboard and the feel under my finger a bit dry if that makes any sense to it probably doesn't but i just prefer the more silkier touch i find from the elixir strings as opposed to these realistically it only became an issue and it was only something i noticed when i was sliding around the guitar so say if i'm on g the b or the e string the high e string and i'm sliding from one area of the neck to another or if i was doing sort of mateo sasato quick sort of slides up like one fret just kind of like up and down i'd find the it would feel so unnatural and it would feel quite dry to do the slides. Again, that is my opinion. And most of you probably watching this are thinking, I do not understand a word this kid is saying. Why is he saying dry? But that just makes sense to me. Elixirs feel a lot smoother. My fingers glide across the strings way better and they just feel like the what a string should feel like, in my opinion. If you've never tried Elixir strings before and you're used to the Adarios, you may not like Elixir strings because you just may be used to the feel of the Diodario strings. But if you're watching this and you want to give it a try, 
go and buy some elixir strings and try for yourself and see if you know what I mean. Hopefully you do, otherwise this video has been completely pointless. I hope you liked the video. If you did, once again, please drop a like on the video and if you enjoyed and you want some more content similar to this, feel free to check out my channel for other videos, but also uh, you can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and that'll update you on any videos that I post in the future. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.